As a developer, I'm creating forms every day, and most of the time, it's for marketing. It's not even for tech or data. So why not to use an external tool that helps us to create forms and to embed this form everywhere we want, and also to share the link to collect data. Tally is the best solution form that I've found since years. Of course, there's a lot of other solutions that help you to do that, but the most efficient, the most beautiful product and most useful product that I found is actually Tally. So Tally, it's the simplest way to create forms. You can create forms in a minute. And as you see here in this demonstration, you can create forms exactly like you were on Notion, okay? So basically, Tally has a lot of features, unlimited forms, submission, you can collect payment, you can do file upload, thank you page, email notifications, calculator, form logic. There's a lot of features and there's a lot of integration with Notion, Airtable, Zapier, etc., etc. So when we go down on the landing page, we see that uh, first they, they care about the design and the product. And this is something that I like because as a developer, I want to have really professional results and uh, really professional impressions to my clients. So basically here, we can see that we can create a form and customize everything. We can customize banners, logo, but also we can create also conditional logic, for instance, and that is really useful, okay? So let's dive into Tally right away. You can either click on create a form up here, or you can create uh, directly an account. So basically me, I already got an account. I'm going to show you how the dashboard is looking like and how to create your first form. All right, I have created my account with code with Guillaume, there we go. And when we have created an account on Tally, we arrive on the dashboard. So we've got a lot of options here. We are going to pass on all of these options. But what I'm gonna do at first is to click here on create a form. All right, so there we go. We are the core of Tally. The product is basically uh, here on the form creation because Tally helps you to catch data into forms and to retrieve them into Google Sheets or tables, for instance. All right, so here we've got a lot of options. First, we have this header bar with many options, insert, page, logo, cover, design, and settings. Publish and preview are not uh, uh, um, are disabled for now because we didn't fulfill anything. And here we can see that we've got several options. Down there, we've got get started, it's majorly guides to help you to create your first form, to embed it, to uh, have some help from the help center and about the pro plan, because yes, there is a pro plan with Tally. We will talk about it in the next lessons. Here we got O2 guides to collect payment, conditional logic, calculator, etc., etc. We've got two options. We can uh, press enter and we will have an empty form. Okay, so if I press enter here, we see that I arrive directly on the editor. So we've got several options, exactly like in Notion. But if I get back here, I can start with a template. So if I click to template, we've got here a lot of templates. We will have also a listen about it to immediately create really fast, like this, uh, a form to catch data. All right, so me, I'm going to start by myself. Feedback about my video, okay? And I want to know what uh, rate my video. Let's say that I want to rate my video and I'm going to send you this form. What I can do is to click on the plus here or insert up here, okay? It's the same, plus or insert, it's the same here. And here I got options. I can catch a lot of things, short answer, long answer, multiple choice, checkbox, number, etc., etc. So me, what I want is rating, okay? I got rating here. So I'm gonna click on rating and here I can see what I, I can uh, actually import into my form. If I would click to file upload, I would have this, etc., etc. So I'm gonna click on rating and I'm going to insert this and there we go. Okay, so what I want to do also is to add a logo. So when I click on logo, I got this, uh, actually this square here that is appearing. And when I click on it, I can import a logo. All right, I imported my logo. Now I want to put a cover. 
And we see here that I can change the cover. And when I click, I got several options. I can upload the cover. I can click on the link. I can click on Unsplash or I can put just a color, for instance. So I'm going to click on Unsplash and I'm going to add one. Okay, let's say I'm going to add this one. There we go. Of course, I could create uh, actually, I could create a, a cover that I want. So basically, this is what the client are going to see. So when I click here and then I click on submit, it's going to submit. So I'm going to go back to the editor and I'm going to click on settings. And here on settings, I can put also other options. Okay, there's a lot of things to see here. We're going to come back to it later. What I want to do is to publish my form and to give it to you to collect feedbacks about my video. So I'm going to click up here on publish. Okay. And when I click on publish, there we go. This is what I got. I'm back into the dashboard and I got a share link. Okay. This link here, this is the link of my form. So I'm going to copy paste this link. And when I click on the link, we've got the form. So if I click here and I click on submit, We've got a message, thanks for completing this form, create your own form on Tally. And there we go, look at this, we've got the submitted at and we've got the field that we entered. So Tally transform our field and it will transform every field that you're gonna put into your form into a column. So here we've got an untitled rating field. This is where the rates are going to be. And if I click on download CSV file, there we go. We've got the data, so I don't got any email for now, but we've got the date submitted and we've got the rating field. When I click on dashboard, I arrive on my workspace because also Tally is working with workspace, but I can get my uh, form just here, my feedback form. And if I want to edit again, I can click up here and I get back to the editing of my form. This is how we create a first form with Tally. What I propose you to do now is to look at the templates in the next lesson.